Hello everybody, welcome to Paracrew. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use your computer's internet connection on your Android phone using the Charging Cable, a process also known as reverse tethering. So before we get started we need to go to our phone settings, go under the About tab, and click multiple times where it says Build Number until we finally enable developer options. Then we're gonna go back, open up developer options, head over where it says USB debugging and make sure it's enabled. Hit OK. Then we're gonna connect our phone to our computer and set it aside for a while. Please note however that when you're not using this technique it's recommended for security reasons to have USB debugging disabled. Now let's switch over to the computer. To achieve our goal we're going to use a tool called Gneratet. In order to download Gneratet head over to this URL which I have linked in the description below and then scroll down until you find the download section. Now download the version according to your platform, I'm using Windows so I'll download this. For Gneratet to run correctly you will need a recent version of ADB. ADB stands for the Android Debugging Bridge, which, which is bundled with the Android SDK platform tools. If you're on Linux, you can install the Android Tools ADB package, or if you're on Windows, you can download the platform tools from over here. Now that we've downloaded everything that we need, let's create a new folder. And in it, you want to extract the zips that we've just downloaded the way I show you right now. So first of all open up the Gnerted zip and extract these files into the folder and then open up the platform tools zip, double click on the folder and extract everything that's in here into the Gnerted folder. Now as you can see in this folder we have the Gnerted files and the ADB files. Now since we're running Gnerted for the first time there are some setup steps that we must follow. So open up a command prompt or a terminal window if you're on Linux or Mac OS. Please note that all the commands that I'm using here on Windows can also be used on Linux or Mac OS, you just need to type dot slash before you execute them. So navigate to the folder we created, and execute Gneratet install. Now you have to switch over to your phone. Unlock your phone. And you should see this message that says allow USB debugging. Make sure to give it permission. And the command prompt should say success or it should close by itself. Now that you're all set up, just go ahead and open up a command prompt. Navigate once again to where your Gnertet folder is. And execute Gnertet run. Now check your phone and you should see this message where it says connection request, hit OK. Open up your web browser, as you can see your phone is connected to the internet. If you want to stop using Nerdtet, just close the command prompt window. So that was it for today's video guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up below and subscribe for more awesome content. I will see you in the next video.